That's the dramatic radio call from a Philadelphia police officer the moment after he was shot in the line of duty. Commissioner Richard Ross says the suspect ambushed that officer in West Philadelphia just after 1130 last night, firing 13 times. The five-year veteran of the force fired back. He did manage to shoot the suspect who was caught by fellow officers. It is 4.30 a.m. on this Friday. We're following breaking news. An armed man ambushed a Philadelphia police officer, shooting him three times overnight. We have team coverage. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live at Penn Pestriterian Hospital, where the officer is being treated. But we're going to start with Annie McCormick. She's live at 60th and Spruce. That's the scene of the shooting. Good morning, Annie. Good morning, Tim and Matt, and officers have been out here since the shooting happened just before midnight last night. You can take a look behind me. The crime scene unit is actually just wrapping up here. They say that Officer Jesse Hartner was ambushed as he sat in his patrol car. According to police, the suspect unloaded a 9 millimeter at the officer, hitting him three times. Real-time cameras in this area actually captured the entire shooting. You can actually hear the officer's own call for backup after he was shot. Take a listen. That's the frantic call moments after 33-year-old Philadelphia police officer Jesse Hartnett was ambushed by an armed suspect who, according to police, came from out of nowhere. Around 11.40 last night, the suspect reportedly rushed towards the officer's cruiser in the area of 60th and Spruce and fired at least 13 times. Look here. You can see the officer's cruiser riddled with bullets. As he starts to enter, enter to that intersection, uh, a male comes off the sidewalk and starts firing into his window, his driver's side window. The male gets closer and closer to the point where he's actually inside the car firing at the officer. At this time, we know he fired probably 13 times at the officer. Hartnett suffered three gunshot wounds. Even while wounded, he managed to return fire, hitting the suspect at least three times. The suspect managed to run, but you can hear officers on this scanner traffic advising they captured him nearby a short time later. Right, I'm not looking for nobody else out here. And I do have a male in custody and a gun out here recovered on, our, on highway. And you can hear, hear them there saying that a gun believed to be the suspect was found near the scene. Now, the suspect was taken to the hospital, the University of Pennsylvania. He did suffer one shot, we are told. He did have a bullet wound to his rear end. Now, the officer was taken to Penn Presbyterian Hospital, and Catherine Scott will have more on that. For now, reporting live in West Philadelphia, Annie McCormick, Channel 6 Action News. Tam. Indeed, Annie. In fact, let's continue our team coverage on with more on that officer's condition and go to Catherine Scott. She's live at Penn Presbyterian. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Tam. And we're told when the officer was brought here to the hospital, he was awake and coherent, but he's in, in surgery right now. His arm is in pretty bad shape, we're told, but that he's able to survive this. Has so many grateful this morning. Uh, it's amazing he's alive. Police Commissioner Richard Ross stood outside Penn Presbyterian Hospital early this morning, thankful to be able to say 18th District Police Officer Jesse Hartnett is expected to survive after being shot multiple times in West Philadelphia last night. We're just lucky. That's all I can say. I, I can't even believe that he was able to uh, survive this. The commissioner says the officer has a lot of damage to his left arm. It's broken and sustained significant nerve damage. And he's got a lot of recovery ahead of him. The mayor rushed here when he heard the news, saw Hartnett's concerned father as he stood in the waiting room. He's grateful for the officer's service and his sacrifice. It, it shows very clearly how, how brave are and sacrificial our, our police officers are willing to sacrifice their lives uh, for us every single day. As for the suspect, I'm told he too is expected to survive. He remains under guard at the hospital. We're live in University City, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News, Tam.